Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 4.30. We hydroplaned and went into a bunch of trees. A driver says he's lucky to be alive after a crash here in Lexington. How a Kentucky University is helping out two athletes who are battling cancer tonight. WKYT News at 4.30 starts now. Good afternoon to you. Amber Philpott and Sam Dick reporting. A good Samaritan came to the rescue of a man hurt in a violent crash. An SUV crashed on Manowar Boulevard at Buckhorn Drive, leaving the passenger trapped with serious injuries. WKYT Sam Smith talked with the driver who says they're both lucky to be alive. It's our top story at 430. The driver tells me he was about 50 yards away from the Buckhorn Manowar intersection when his SUV started to hydroplane. Robert Martin was driving with a friend this morning between Buckhorn and Bold Bitter Drive. Around 9.30, they crashed. Martin says they were both wearing their seatbelts, and after the wreck, they were stuck inside the SUV. A good Samaritan helped the passenger get out of the seat. That passenger was rushed to UK hospital once the fire department arrived. Police say he is in serious condition but stable. Martin says the whole experience was unreal. And you always have that one dream when you're falling, and like you can feel it in your dream, but you don't really feel it outside of the dream. Um, it's just scary. It wakes you up, and pretty much just woke me up. I'm pretty scared. The driver says this could have been a lot worse, and he's thankful for the good luck charms he keeps around his neck and inside his car. In Lexington, Sam Smith, WKYT. And that stretch of Man of War Boulevard was shut down for two hours this morning. What another day out there. Oh, I'd rather stay inside. It's starting to dry out, I guess, a little bit after a pretty drizzly start to the uh, day. Yeah, but today is likely to be one of the driest days we see in the very near future. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. That does not sound like good news there. Yeah, you know, I'm giggling over here, right? I think a lot of folks are probably doing that, too, because today, as you mentioned, it started out on a drizzly note. It continues with the ugly, the cold conditions out there, and it's the best day of the entire week. It's as good as we can get, unfortunately. Upper 30s into most of central Kentucky as of now. Mid 30s showing up in a few spots. We are a little warmer in the west where we've had a peak or two of sunshine. Even southeastern Kentucky now beginning to see those numbers that are coming down. Life First Alert Defender, there's your dry uh, sweep that is coming back from Defender as of now. A lot of clouds that are out there. Those clouds, though, thickening back up to our west. Look what's happening west of Nashville toward Memphis. Rain is breaking out yet again, and that rain is heading toward the bluegrass state as we go into the day tomorrow. And that cold high pressure is going to hang around to our north, so we'll track the heavy rain threat and the potential for a little taste of winter weather coming your way in a little bit. The weather headlines, the chilly rains do return over the course of the next 24 hours. Then, guys, we crank up the heavy rain and thunder threat. Yeah, I said thunder threat and a winter threat all in the same breath. That comes your way with the seven day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, we'll see you then, Chris. Thank you. A fire forced employees at Lexmark outside for a while this morning. We're told that fire started when a crew working on the roof accidentally set a patch on fire. It did cause heavy smoke, but firefighters say the firewall was fire was small. They put it out quickly. The employees were allowed back inside after about 40 minutes. A busy road is back open after being shut down for hours. Lexington police worked a crash on South Broadway around nine last night. A car heading outbound hit a utility. Pole. It wasn't until around 9 this morning when the road opened back up. Police had to keep a lane closed while Kentucky Utilities worked to repair that pole. We're tracking a crime alert this afternoon after break ins at two Lexington businesses. Someone used a rock to smash through a window at the Up in Smoke on East New Circle Road. They stole cigarettes. And about four this morning, the same thing happened at a marathon gas station on Alexandria Drive. Police did not say if anything was taken at that scene. They also do not know yet if the crimes are connected. It's not something you see every day here in the bluegrass. A little strange. A natural beehive is hanging in the front yard of a Robertson County home. And as WKYT's Victor Puente reports, the University of Kentucky now plans to study the unique looking hive. It was about three weeks ago that the people who own this property first noticed this giant hive hanging from the tree behind me. At first, neighbors worried they may be dangerous, but so far, those bees haven't done much other than add on to that hive. The property is owned by Kenton Town Christian Church. One of their maintenance men first noticed it. They say it's grown quite a bit since then. 
At first, there was a fear these were African killer bees, since their hives bear a resemblance to this one. But an entomologist at the University of Kentucky says there are no reports of Africanized bees near Kentucky. He believes it's a wild honeybee comb that was built but eventually abandoned and some bees were left behind. The deacon of the church that owns the property says so far no one has been stung, but this has been unusual. I've never seen anything like that in my life, and I, and I several people that's lived around here forever, they've just, you know, it's, it's rare. You just don't see this every day. The man who lives in this home told the Ledger Independent the University of Kentucky researchers were coming to take this hive during the winter since those bees wouldn't survive until spring. In Robertson County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Well, neighbors say there was a hive kept in some nearby bee boxes that left near the end of summer. Her story inspired many people across this country. Tonight, Lauren Hill's Mount St. Joseph basketball team will be here in Lexington. Hill is battling terminal cancer. Her team will play the Lady Pioneers at Transylvania University tonight. Transy's using the game to raise money for Hill and a former Transy student athlete who is also battling a rare form of cancer. The game begins tonight at 7.30 and all proceeds will be donated. We'll have a preview of the event coming up tonight on WKYT News at 6 o'clock. I think it's wet here in Kentucky. California getting doused with record-breaking rainfall from back-to-back -back storms moving through the West Coast. Yeah, the system could soak communities with an additional one to three inches of rain today. Danielle Nottingham has the latest from Glendora, California, where residents there are on alert for potential mudslides. A massive sinkhole opened up on the Bay Bridge as a powerful storm swept through Northern California. A deluge of rain flooded a major highway in San Francisco, submerging several cars and stranding drivers. The rain was getting out of hand, and I tried to get off the freeway and save myself and winded up in deeper trouble than I thought. East of Los Angeles, crews in Glendora are scrambling to keep the city's drains clear and have set up concrete barriers and sandbags to protect homes. The National Weather Service says foothill communities like Glendora could get as much as six inches of rain by the time this storm system passes, which could make the area extremely vulnerable to mudslides. Bob Waldusky's house lies at the bottom of a hillside prone to mudslides. Residents like Waldusky are on alert, fearful a downpour will bring down hillsides charred from a January wildfire. It's caused a lot of runoff, and what, there's nothing to hold the water back. So, more than the water, it's it's the mudslide potential that's it's the problem for us back behind our house. Heavy rain closed miles of the Pacific Coast Highway after mud and debris poured down hillsides in Camarillo. Meteorologists say California will need more storms more often to recover from the historic drought. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Glendora, California. Flash flood watches remain in effect for foothill communities in Southern California. Three years of devastating drought conditions has left the Sierra Nevada snowpack, which is critical to the state's water supply, at just 24% of normal for this time of year. I think we need to start using these to measure the rainfall. <laughs> I was I mean, going to say. This is for snow, right? Uh -huh. Winter. Yeah. WKYT rules winner. What do you think? Uh, Rainfall. It's uh, it's appropriate, Chris Bailey. It won't stop raining. What about hashtag WKYT rules rain? Anything. Huh? <laughs> we got it. We you know what? It's going to be here. We might as well just own it. And it is uh, on the way. More rain coming in over the next few days. So let's enjoy. The break, I hate to call it a break this afternoon because it's so cloudy and cold and dreary, but that is indeed what it is, as good as it can get for the next several days. A little look outside at the live sky cams. A lot of upper 30s and a break or two in the clouds showing up, but overall, that is just cloudy and kind of an ugly look as we begin the evening here across central and eastern Kentucky as those temperatures will drop a few more degrees over the next several hours. Now, Life First Alert Defender as of now has nothing going on across central and eastern Kentucky. Though when I come back in just a matter of minutes, we're going to track the rain train back into the bluegrass state. Live looking like in rush hour traffic. There's a collision at Georgetown and Ironworks. Uh, it looks like they're still cleaning up a little foot in the roadway there with the left lane block there, Georgetown and Ironworks. Uh, interstate looks okay here in Lexington, and on the circle, the slowest traffic right now is approaching Old Frankfort Pike on the interloop. Some debris in the roadway there. Now back to you in the studio. To become a WKYT live driver and download the Waze app, go to WKYT.com. Under the News tab, click on Traffic for more information.
Happy birthday, PlayStation, pig lard skin products, and online dating tips. It's the video that will have you talking. Take a look at this. PlayStation is all grown up. The breakthrough video console from Sony Computer Entertainment turns 20 today. The original PlayStation launched in Japan on December 3rd, 1994. To celebrate, Sony is releasing a special anniversary edition PS4. Pre-orders begin, uh, begin rather, on December 6th. They're available only in very limited supply. A Virginia farmer believes he has the next big thing in skin care, pig lard. It's the main ingredient in his new line of beauty products called Heal Fast. James Henderson of Concord debuted the line last weekend. He says lard heals acne, wounds, burns, and scars. Henderson says Heal Fast products are infused with essential oils and plant extracts, some of which are grown on Henderson's own farm. He says lard is nature's best kept beauty secret. Please don't get me any for Christmas. You're not all over that? I'm not. Oh, come on. All right. If you're trying to find love online in Kentucky, mentioning basketball could help. Why not? A new study from Mashable and Match.com looked at user profiles and identified a unique descriptive word used the most in each state. Well, guess what? Kentucky's love of basketball apparently extends into all aspects of life, including online dating. In Ohio, those looking for love like to talk about Bonfires. <laughs> and in West Virginia, a lot of lovers like to hunt. Mm -hmm. Porch is popular in Tennessee. And grilling is what lovers are looking for in Alabama. Hmm. It's a good thing we're married. We might not make it out there in the world. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Basketball. Okay. Well, a lot of us have that in common. There you go. Stick with us now. Here's what we're working on for you now at 5 o'clock.